people it is friday and not just any old friday today we are going to be um well 12 days of christmas is going on sale so we are going to be very very excited now it is on the website so i feel like i should probably give you five minutes to rush over i'll go through it with you i'll show you all the gorgeous things and if you stay tuned at the end of this live um i will also show you some of these beautiful goodies in the flesh um oh my gosh i'm so excited um but i know you're probably all on the website at the moment so i'll give you a few minutes to kind of get settled um so how are you are you as excited as I am today? Um, we've got some beautiful bracelets to make in today's live. Really easy, using a little bit of rat tail, some beautiful um, sparkles and some split rings. And we're gonna be making these um, extendable as well. So it's, it, you know, you can make them to fit um, a variety of wrist sizes. And if you're not sure of the size, then you can extend them as well, that's fine. Um, but yeah, 12 days is on sale. Oh, I just feel relief because I've been like sworn to secrecy um, and now I can um, spill the beans. So um, I'm just gonna say a quick good morning to some of you. Good morning to Edward, uh, good morning to Diana. Uh, good morning to Lucy. She says, oh my God, I'm super excited. Good morning to Anne. Uh, good morning to Judith. Good morning, Jackie. Um, everyone's very, very excited. Rachel says, um, good morning, everyone. Excited, ordered the 12 days and um, today's kit. Excited, thank you so much, Rachel. Um, I'm gonna tell you now, there is limited availability on them. Once they're gone, it's not like we can, you know, Simon, please make us some more up. They've gone. So if you want one, you really will have to be quick. Um, Sue, good morning to you. Good morning to Camille. She said it's rained here. I drawn my blinds um, this morning, so there'll be no sunshine on the mat. And then I looked outside and thought that there's going to be no sunshine on the mat, so I've opened them up a little bit again today. Um, good morning to Kieran. Good morning to Jan. Um, she says it's a wonderful day, but it's cold in Western Supermare. I've not been out. Um, it, it, it looks a little dreary, but um, well, we're going to add a little bit of sparkle to your morning this morning and brighten it up a bit. Um, good morning to Nicole. Good morning to uh, Lady Pen Penny. Good morning, Marcia. Oh, it's raining in New York. Good morning to you, Marcia. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, Thank you for the stars, Kieran, already. That's brilliant. Thank you so much. Really generous of you. Uh, good morning to Anne. She says, I've ordered my kits. Not sure if I'll be back beading by then, but at least I'll have lovely sparkly beads. Get them, Anne, because as I say, once they're gone, they're gone. Um, and then when you are feeling up to it, they're there waiting and ready for you. Um, good morning to Shirley. She says, it's stormy where she is in, in the Highlands. Uh, good morning again to... Um, Oh, Kieran says, um, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. It's been it's been a very busy week in my household. Um, I've had a poorly son. Um, he's bright as rain now, he's fine. So he's back to nursery today, which is a little bit of a relief for me because I've I've struggled to get anything done. Trying to entertain him and, and work has been um challenging shall we say and then um this morning he did not want to go to nursery he was it was like wrestling a baby alligator trying to get him dressed um i called the nursery because i was like so concerned he was he was okay um and yeah he's right he's rain he's eating toast he's having cereal he's just emotionally blackmailing me isn't he so uh yeah he's fine and that's a relief uh, good morning to janice um she says it's windy and rainy um kieran asks what is the kit Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get straight on. I'm gonna show you. All will be revealed now. So today we're making beautiful crisscross bracelets. I'll take you onto the website um, and then I'll show you them in all their glory. And um, there are one, two, three, four, five different colours to choose from. Now that's just the colours of rat tail to choose from. In each kit, you're gonna get various different coloured beads so you can mix them up. You can um do them individually. You're gonna be able to make three bracelets at least out of this kit. Um so there's loads there for you and then i'm gonna show you um i'm gonna show you the 12 days i can't wait kitty said do it at the end well i'll show you the good things at the end but i'll show you on the website now as well because th that's what we all that's what we're here for isn't it um good morning to um 
Amelia, good morning. D Marriott. Oh, there's loads of you in here this morning. Good morning, Charlotte. Uh, good morning to Isla. She says, good morning, Natalie. Wet and the wind is getting stronger here in Clitheroe. My 12 days kit is ordered. Bread and jam for the week. <laughs> Lovely. Good morning to Sue. Um, she says, damp and dreary and stains. Hoping to get on with finishing my festive cardi today after this. Oh, Sue, do pop it in the handmade group. Um, I don't know whether it'll be beaded. I'm sure it'll be beautiful please share it we love to see any type of makes good morning um to pauline oh she says so sorry to hear about your little boy he's fine he's absolutely fine um there's not wrong with him he's, he's he's fine now but he just likes to pull on my heartstrings in the morning um and yeah lucy quite right baby dinosaur yeah he's just role playing uh, he takes after his mum a little bit of an actress <laughs> honestly you'd have thought like you know something like disastrously was wrong happening this morning I was just trying to get him dressed uh, good morning to carol um kitty says what earrings are you wearing just these absolute little beauties kitty which i've been itching to wear but i made them myself do you like them if you do you can make them too let's get over to the website and i'll show you right okay i am gonna take you over right now if you've not been here before, um, well, thank you for joining us. Um, get yourself over to totallybeads.co.uk. Okay, um, we've got to go straight for the 12 days, haven't we? Right, okay, look at this. So in your 12 days of Christmas, if anybody's not seen it before, basically what happens is as of Christmas Day and all the way through to the 5th of January every day at 10 a.m. on Facebook you'll be able to watch a pre-recorded video and in that video will be these stunning tutorials so there's going to be 12 individual kits hence the 12 days um, but you're going to be able to make up to I think 40 items in this now it's £140 worth of products and if you get it today, it's 50% off, which means you are getting all of this for £70. You're going to be able to get embroidery brooches, wire cuff bracelets, helm jewellery, some lovely sparkly earrings, which you may have had a sneaky peek at. And um, there's a bling ring, a hair comb. There's absolutely all sorts in there. It's just stunning. And there is something for everyone. Some really simple, nice beginner makes, some wire work, some embroidery, some stitch jewellery. There's everything, anything you could possibly, possibly want. There's even elasticated bracelets in there. It's just wonderful. So have a little look. Um, some of them are also going to come with PDF instructions. I've just realised how fast I'm talking. <laughs> I'm super excited about this. And all of your kit will contain every single thing you need, apart from a couple of tools. So you'll probably need a pair of pliers and you're good to go. So look at it all. Oh, it's so lovely. Are you as excited as I am? Um, get it while it's there. They are limited, limited availability. Um Oh, look at them all. So I'm going to show you, if you stay tuned at the end of the tutorial, I'll show you some, not all, just some of the ones that I will be doing. So you can join myself, um, Kitty and Sarah during that little festive holiday period in between Christmas when you don't know what you're doing and you have lots of things to keep you entertained and occupied. So today, this is the crisscross bracelet. And this is what I'm going to be showing you today. Now, these should be um, £11. Is it £11? £11.80? Um, but they are down to £7.99. So a lovely discount for you there today. As I say, you're going to be able to make three. There's going to be plenty of ratile left and um, plenty of crystals as well for you. Um, but we have included three buttons in the pack for you to make your clasps. Now, you can choose from black. Uh, black and yellow, bronze, red or silver. However, when you go into your colour choice, you're going to be getting three different strings of your crystal rondelle beads as well. So you're going to be able to make a variety of different colours or colour combinations um, with whichever kit you pick. And inside there, you're going to get um, 
as I say, you're going to get crystal rondelle beads. You're also going to be getting your split rings, which is six millimeter. You're going to be getting your rat tail cords, like a full hank of that. There's loads on there. And you're also going to get your three antique silver buttons. So they are down to $7.99 today. So as you can see, some of the designs that I've put together are just using one of those um, bead colors in there. However, you can mix and match them let's have a little look at this one so this is the red one you can see there's three different colors within there and i've just put them together which i think look really pretty and rather festive too so i'm gonna let you i think choose what color you would like me to um make for you today let me stop sharing my screen and let's see what i've missed i'd imagine um, i'm just i'm biding my time because i know you're all going to be over the website um so good morning to kitty good morning to carol um lucy has shared for you today this tutor this tutorial um so what i'm going to be making for you today but obviously when you're on the website do have a look at the 12 days of Christmas because I know there's going to be something in there for everyone to tempt you. Um, so you're all having a chit chat saying how excited you are. Um, Sue says, I was wondering that myself, Kitty, look at them. Aren't they pretty? They're so easy to do. And um, there's a variety of different color choices as well, obviously, um, in your kits you're going to get a variety of different colors of the different things we've put together. I'm pretty sure you're going to get all of the colors of these. Um, and I think there's seven. So you've got one for every day of the week. Um, good morning to Shirley. She says it's uh, windy and raining. Uh, Angela, she says she can't stay longer. She's got to have her bloods taken. Angela, I hope you're all right. My fingers are crossed for you. That all goes well. Um, don't worry. You can catch up with me later. It's a very quick make today. Um, but, you know, it's going to be really quick because I'm talking at a million miles an hour because I'm just so excited about the 12 days. There is the link um, for the 12 days of Christmas bumper pack that Lucy's kindly shared. Um, Kitty is sharing little festive Christmas trees because we're all so excited. Um, Camille says she's finally finished making her Christmas cards uh, so I can do some beading stuff again. Yay, you're ahead of me, Camille. I've I've kind of started a little bit of online shopping. I've put a list together of the things that I need. Um, I'm trying to buy from small businesses um, this year. So I've been in contact with a couple of people I know who make some lovely variety of different things. Um, and I'm trying to buy off them as well. Uh, Lucy says it's an amazing bundle and I've ordered mine £70. It is half price. Um, things like that only come around once a year, surely. So uh a kitty's just said um we have limited stock and once it's gone it's gone it takes us a long time to put these kits together it really does um it's a lot of fun when you're choosing what to go in but i'd imagine putting it all together and, and getting it all packaged and ready to go out is no mean feat so to everybody at the warehouse thank you so much um on my behalf for all the hard work that you do um making us all happy little beaders good morning to jitty um oh, lucy says um thank you so much totally beads i don't have much real family so christmas is always quiet for me love this last year and it looks so much better this year lucy you are our absolute angel all year round not just a christmas angel um you are our beading family member um, we would be lost without you and we are so delighted that we can keep you entertained and keep you happy over Christmas. Um, <laughs> Kitty says, and you know me, I'll be in the live chat. Yeah, we will be. Um, it's going to be pre-recorded, but I mean, I'm dead excited to watch as well. So we'll all be there. We'll still be having chit chats between each other. Um, oh, Rachel wants the yellow and black, please. Um, good morning, everyone. To Elaine. Um, oh, Lucy, you're my family now. You are ours as well, sweetheart. Rachel um, says she's looking forward to it this year. Good morning from Switzerland. It's snowy. Oh, how lovely. Oh, well, that's just making it a whole lot more festive. I wonder if we'll get the snow this year. Right now, it's just raining very heavily. Um, good morning to my mummy. Um, that's my mum. Good morning, Kath. Good morning to um, everybody. Everybody's here. Um, 
Marcy is saying, oh, I'm really jealous. I want it um, to snow here. Everyone's asking you to send us the snow. <laughs> right, okay, let's get down to it. I'm gonna take you onto the mat and I'm gonna show you these gorgeous bracelets. They are so simple to do. Um, they look much more complicated than they are. Can I get this to focus? Once again, my colours are not showing, but I just love the colour of these beads. They're super shiny, they're faceted, so you're getting all that twinkle and all that sparkle. If I just gently rotate one of them with my finger, can you see the gorgeous rainbowy colours against that grey? It's beautiful. We've got a jolly little festive red one. I just couldn't decide which beads to use on this one, so I decided I was going to use all the crystal rondelles in that colour. We've got this gorgeous one, which has got all the golds in it. The black one. So, I mean, these are perfect all year round, but I do think they've got like a little bit of a Christmassy vibe. Is that just me projecting Christmassy vibes onto things? Ruth asks everybody to press the like button with their DNA. That would be much appreciated. Thanks, Ruth. Look at this one. It's so pretty. So what I've done, and I'll show you how to do this, is we've made our bracelet to have different loops at the end so you can make them larger in size if need be so if you're gifting these and why wouldn't you anyone would be made up to get one of these on Christmas morning you can make them so that they fit a variety of different sizes if you're not too sure Lucy says where are the pink colors they're gorgeous I love the red right what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, maybe if I pick a color of rat tail and then you can pick the beads or shall we mix them up has anybody got any particular look at them all oh mina says good morning everybody sorry i'm late was coloring my hair day off so going out after the live so in your bundles you can choose whichever color i don't know i think I love these ones and I love them ones and I love the reds because I've already done a red with a few of them in I'm gonna we don't often do yellow do we what do you want red please red please silver um just looking at the comments pop it in quick I'm gonna decide we're, we're getting on with time <laughs> tell me what you want Good morning, Natalie, and everyone says Lorna. Right, do you know what? Do we do the red? Oh, I can't decide. Uh, Kitty says, um, Rachel, we don't specify colours on the 12 days as they can change what's available in stock, but we make sure that you get a good selection. Some kits will be multiple makes, so you have multiple colours in the same kit. Thank you, Kitty. Um, yellow, okay, yellow. Morning, Nat. Red, says Nat. Mm. Purple? Ruth? <laughs> there is no purple, you little tink. It's really split. I think the red and the black go together. Well, if I mix up the beads, then that's going to be a little bit deceiving because you're not going to get those colours in this kit. Right, should we do? We'll do the yellow. And I'll show you the different colours. Lucy says yellow for Mummy Camille. Okay. As I say, they're all stunning. So if you wanted the red, red matches my nails today. Right. So in your pack, you're going to get a gorgeous hank of rat tail, which will look a lot neater than mine because I've already been using it. You're also going to get your split rings and you're going to get a variety of gorgeous crystals now you can let me get this out you can 
decide which one you want to go with them or you can mix them up. Should I do a bit of all three? Why not while we've got them here? Okay, really straightforward to do. Firstly, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the end of my hank. Now I'd have got this all ready and prepped in advance, but I wanted to let you choose. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna cut a length of what I think I need my bracelet to be. I'm going to add on a couple of inches so I can add on some adjustable clasps. And then I'm going to double that length. So I'm just going to fold over the length that I want. Probably don't need it that big. But I'd rather have more than have less. So when I've got the size and the length that I want, Adding on that extra for that adjustable clasp at the end, I'm going to double it over and then I'm going to get my gorgeous little button. Let me move that out the way. So the button of these beautiful antique silver and they're going to add us as the clasp for today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one end and I'm going to go through the back of the button. And then I'm going to bring it all the way through and go back through the front of the button. And then I'm going to pull that down so that button is sitting in the middle of my two ends. So it's one length of rat tail folded over through the button. And then all I'm going to do is tie a little knot, a little overhand knot, using both of the pieces of rat tail and I'm going to post that through and all I do when I'm making my knots is I keep these fingers a little bit further down and I start to push them up with my fingers just because I'd like that knot to sit quite close to that button which is going to be our clasp. So you should have something that looks like that. It doesn't have to be too tight. It's nice to be able to have a little bit of movement still in your button when you're popping that on. Mina says, I think I made this crisscross with tiger tail. Ooh, that sounds different. Uh, the split rings are six millimeters and the crystals are uh, four by sixes. Um, I think it was uh, Natalie that was asking, or was it Carol? Yeah, I think it was Carol. Okay, so now we have our two pieces. I'm gonna just lay them out there. I'm gonna move my mat over a little bit. There you go, that's better, isn't it? And I'm gonna take two long guy needles because I just find this is the, e the easiest method and it is straightforward, so don't be panicking. Two needles, no, it's really easy. It's just, I find it easier to do it this way. So I'm gonna pop my two needles on. And then I'm going to choose what crystals I want. And I think, I think we're going to have a selection of all of the ones that you get in your yellow bundle today. So I'm going to place my crystals down on the mat. I'm going to put them in some sort of order. So I remember to pick the correct ones up. They'll probably be all over the floor soon. Just gonna put a little pile there and a little pile there and add in my gorgeous sparkly silvery ones as well. Oh, sorry, Natalie, she said, no, it was me. Well, there you go. All the details as well are on the um, website. So if you go in the video tutorials, it'll tell you all the bits and bobs that we're using today. And then I'm going to pop my split rings out as well. So a split ring is a bit like a jump ring, but it goes all the way round. So it gives this lovely little detail and extra little, um, just a little bit more, more sparkle to already beautiful sparkly bracelets. Okay, I'm going to stop reading the comments. I'm going to get cracking. So first of all, I'm going to take one of my crystals 
and I'm going to thread that on to one of my rat tail ends. Um, sometimes I name them, so I might name the top one number one or number two. So I'm just adding this on just to one length, like so. And then I'm going to put my needles together and I'm going to add a split ring over the both of them. And I'm going to pull that down. And all I keep doing is just separating out so I can see which which one's which. So now we've put a crystal on the top one, split ring over the both. I'm going to pick up my next crystal and I'm going to pop that onto the opposite side. So in this case, the bottom one. And then I'm going to bring my both needles together and I'm going to pop the split ring. I've bent my needle so it's a little bit more fiddly to get on over the both. And that is literally all we're going to be repeating all the way up. And you don't need to worry about what beads and uh, crystals you're putting on unless you're doing what I'm doing and you're going to be using them all all three choices so then I want to keep repeating this pattern so split ring on to both crystal onto one and it is as straightforward as that in terms of our pattern repeat there's no stitching there's no weaving I mean I with it being rat tail, I suppose it is macrame, but there's there's not really any knots in it apart from when you're attaching your button onto the top and um, when you're going to tie a little simple knot at the end just to, to make your clasp. So really straightforward. I'm just checking I'm putting them in the right order, am I? I don't know. They can be a little bit mismatched for today if need be. Just excuse me. Okay, so we've got split ring on to both. And all I'm doing is just separating these out again so I know which one is my top and which one's my bottom. And then the next bead onto one. Um, Mina says... I, I same here. I have a few fairs this weekend, so it'll be good to sell some, but not sure we have the snow predicted. It's meant to be very, very windy this weekend. So if you're out and about, wrap up and be careful. Lucy says, an easy project that looks stunning. I'm going to make more of these. They really are so simple. And you know me, I like a simple make. Um, I, I want to be able to do something which I can get that kind of satisfaction and completed project within you know 10 minutes sometimes um sometimes i want something a bit more complicated and something that involves a little bit more concentration but quite a lot of the time especially this time of year you know i get itchy fingers when i'm not making something but at the same time there's just so much to be doing um this project and projects like this just mean it's something that if you just get 10-15 minutes to yourself then you can be making some absolutely beautiful beautiful bracelets so I am just looking at what colour I'm up to next adding that on to the top one bringing both my needles together and popping my split ring onto both And then my next crystal onto the bottom one. So you're just alternating which side or which rat tail end you add your crystal to. And each time you add one, you're just adding that split ring onto the next. Uh, Natalie says, question, can you use two rings instead of the split rings? What is it in terms of jump rings? Yeah, you can. If you've got lots of them and you want to use them up, then you can. I 
I just like the split rings, to be honest. I like the look that it gives, but I think you probably get the same effect using the two jump rings. And they're just less likely to open up because it's coiled round that little bit extra. Um, so they'll sit together nicely. If you're using two jump rings, they're going to um, move about a little bit more against each other. But Natalie says she has lots. Try it, Natalie, and let us know how you get on and what it looks like. I think I've probably somewhere slightly messed up my colour bead order. Or it could be that one of these gorgeous little ones is it's got like um, a bluey silver on one side and a gold coating on it too. So maybe I'm, it's just the way the light's catching it. Um, so yeah, as I say, you don't always get much time for yourself, do you, this time of year? And I think that's what's wonderful about our 12 Days of Christmas kit. Um, we're doing it in the period, so it's going to be from Christmas Day up to, I think it's the 5th of January. So that little lull that you get in between where you're like, what do I do with myself? I've, I've bought all my Christmas presents. We've opened all the Christmas presents. We've seen the family that we're able to see and spend time with. We've we've done all the, the usual festives. And there's just kind of, I always find, a little point where... I don't know what day it is. I mean, quite often at the moment, I don't always know what, what day we're on. <laughs> but, you know, if you are somebody who works and you've got that period off Christmas, if you're fortunate to be off over the Christmas period, sometimes you're like, what day is it? Is it Saturday today? Is it Wednesday? Um, so those little projects just give you the opportunity to, to do something for yourself. Um, they also make really lovely Christmas presents. So if you've got somebody very generous in your life um, that doesn't know what to get you, then you know, ask them very nicely and tell them what an absolute bargain it is. Half price should be £140 worth of beauty. Which bead am I up to? This one. An absolute beautiful, beautiful, beautiful products down to just 70 pounds um, and there is going to be something in there for everybody as i say you've got really um straightforward simple makes like the e-rings i'll be doing you've got a variety of gorgeous stitch projects with kitty um you're going to have some beautiful sarah milsop makes as well um and i'm very excited and privileged to be a part of this this year i actually can't quite believe it that I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing the 12 days of Christmas. So thank you for having me. Um if you've not seen enough of me, then you'll be able to uh join me over Christmas too. <laughs> uh... Lucy says it looks really lovely with the yellow cord. Have we converted you, Lucy? Because we know you're you're obsessed with the pinks. So they will just move down and fit nicely together there. Where am I up to? What bead are we up to? This one. I keep forgetting where I'm up to when I get to this bead. I don't know why. There's a, not much concentration going on today because my mind is elsewhere in terms of being excited about um, the 12 days launch. But if you were to just use one colour of your crystals you don't have to think at all you're literally just top split ring bottom top split ring bottom um sue is saying about all the wonderful things that she makes we do have some talent in this group um she says my list is not only beading but bits also knitting and crocheting sorry crocheting um Pretty much all of our extended family. I'm currently knitting hats for Christmas prezzies, hoping to make necklaces as well. Um, how lovely, Sue. As I say, you are very, very talented. Very busy lady. Um, and, you know, the, the good thing is with the 12 days of Christmas as well is you're going to get so much in there. They also make lovely gifts. Um, they will be, obviously, after Christmas. Um but I don't know, maybe you're 
not planning on seeing certain friends and family to until you know the new year and then you've got lovely things to to be able to gift them as well <laughs> Lucy says, um, no, she's not converted. The pink will always be my fave. I don't have a favourite colour. I always say blue because I wear a lot of blue. Um, I like purples too. But sometimes it just, it depends what it is. Like I think this looks gorgeous against the yellow. I wouldn't have necessarily picked to have um, blue against the yellow, but I think it just makes, it makes the crystals just pop that little bit more. You can, you know, they complement each other really nicely. So all I'm doing is carrying on until I get to the desired length that I want. I am popping a crystal on the top. I'm popping my split ring on both. And that's why I find it easy to use the two um, the two needles because although I am picking it up and putting it down, um, I just find it it speeds me up. I'm not having to swap my needle or you know I mean, you could probably do it where you don't use any needles at all. I would suggest you um, coat and and cut your rat tail to make sure that they go through those crystals easy, um, but. A big eye needle is is a suggested and only tool that you need for this one. Split ring going over the top. This would also be much quicker if my needles weren't like kind of bent out of shape. I've um I do have two fresh ones I should have probably used. Again, we, I always get confused when I'm up to this one. Um, but I think they've not broken, they're still usable. So I'm just going to keep going until I'm happy with the length. Sometimes what I would do is I will take one I've already made and I'll lie it against it so I know I've got quite a little bit more to do. A uh, blue one. Pauline says another project for a list. A list. Always the diplomat. What what is Kitty the diplomat? Okay, here we go. We all like all colours, some in very small doses, but nevertheless love them all. Uh, yeah, there's there's not a colour I don't like. Um, as I say, like I never wear any kind of excuse me, I've just wobbled. There you go. Um I don't usually wear orange. That's something that I, I wouldn't really put against myself. I always feel that makes me look a little bit washed out, um, probably with my hair colour and skin tone. But then when we were doing the Halloween jewellery kind of theme colours, the oranges actually, especially when we were doing the um, the coiled head pin jewellery, that that orange was and the peaches were were definitely my favorite in that one um i love the coral color in this one i think that looks um really beautiful against the gold okay so now i'm up to the bottom one so adding another blue Oh, Susan. Oh, Susan, I do love your costumes. She says, I'm busy making an outfit for the Dickens Festival in, is it Rochester next weekend? So excited as it was cancelled last year. Back to beading once that's finished. Can't wait for the 12 days of Christmas. If anybody hasn't seen our lovely Susan, um, do check her out in the group. She is such a talented lady. Um, she did a fantastic song, didn't you, Susan, during, um, during the first kind of lockdown we had. Um, very talented uh, theatrical um, performer. It was hysterically funny. Um, 
so you you sang and there was a gentleman accompanied on accompanying you on the piano was there not um but susan had a lot of zoom meetings with her work i think during lockdown um and was just an absolute superstar she would fancy dress am i right susan am i getting this right um and the costumes that this lady puts together are unreal she's been absolutely everything you can possibly imagine from mermaids to empresses to um mary poppins i think you've done you've done absolutely all sorts um oh my goodness if you can hear that noise in the background that's hailstone so um yeah i'm glad i'm not going out today i haven't got any post office runs i am gonna hopefully do a little bit of filming um and i've got a lot of little things that i need to be making up and getting sorted so i'm going to be having a day inside warm with a coffee on my mat um love the red says lucy um Kitty says she always, sorry, Mina says, replying to Kitty, she always buys certain colours of beads, but love the bundles we get with a variety of colours. I mean, I think that's that's what I particularly love about um, buying a kit from Totally Beads because all that colour matching is done for you. Um, and Kitty's got the best eye when it comes to putting colours together. Um and there will be things that you wouldn't usually put together, which actually, when you see it together, you think how lovely they look. Yes, Lucy, I'm pretty sure um, she was definitely, um, Susan definitely was a Sunday beader, and I'm pretty sure she was in costume for that too. I love fancy dress. Just think it's an absolute bit of fun. So, Susan, you're going to have to come back on for us. Um, but that's the wonder about having, um, like, beading as a skill and jewellery making because you can put together something and then you can get yourself, you know, you can make accessories. Oh, I've put two on the wrong one there. Um, you can make yourself accessories to go with your costumes that just bring your costume and your outfit together. I just popped that crystal on the wrong side. So I was just taking it off my needle and popping it back on the right side. Natalie, I think you should do fancy dress on your next live. Lucy, well, what do you want me to be? I might try and find like a Christmas hat because my next live, which I think is Wednesday next week, may just be something a little bit festive, if I'm getting it right, if my diary in my head's right. Okay, so once I've added on my alternating crystals with my split ring in between, and I've got the length that I want, I'm going to take off my big eye needles and I'm going to bring these two ends of the rat tail together and I'm going to tie again a little knot doubling those ends up so it's one I'm going to push it down with my fingers so I'm keeping it nice and loose And just with my nails, going to push that up again so I can get back close to the end. My in shot there. Okay, let me try that again. Don't worry if you do this wrong like I've done. You can just unpick it. It's because I'm laying it down so the weight of my beads haven't yet dropped. Okay, let me undo that one. Take two. 
So I have my beads sitting down next to each other. I'm going to do a little knot. I'm going to keep it loose so I can push it up with my fingers so it gets towards that last bead, my last crystal there. So it will fit nice on that part. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it round. I'm going to pop my button or my to be clasp through those two ends. So it's sitting in the middle. And then I can gauge where about I want to tie that knot to make sure that it's going to go over this button quite nicely. And I'm just going to do exactly the same again. Bringing those two ends through. Give it a little push down, but not too far, because I want to make sure that my button's going to fit through. And then I'm going to just try it by opening it back up. There you go. And then if you want to make this extendable, so if you think this might need to be a little bit longer, then all you're going to do is repeat that process. So I always pop my button in just to make sure that it's going to fit nicely. It's not going to be too big that's going to come loose and fall off, but it's not too tight that I can't get my clasp in. And if it starts to go like this, just pull one of them down till they meet each other again. And there you go. And then again, I'm going to just double check that that can fit open. Now, if you want to, you can also add a little bit of extra sparkle onto the end by just popping on a little crystal, if you like, to the end of your rat tail, just to finish that off. So I'm going to use one end of my rat tail and pop a little bead on there. And I'm going to do the same on the other side too. So opening up my very bent big eye needle, popping that on to one end of my rat tail. Should I use two different? I should, you know. Should I use the same? I'll use the same colour ones on this bit. You don't have to do this, you can just trim. But I quite like, so we want not about there. I just like to finish it off with a little bit of decoration, which is just gonna bring that together. And then with my scissors, just gonna trim just below that knot and there you have a very pretty very sparkly gorgeous little bracelet oh marcy that's a good idea she says you could probably add a cute little charm too yeah you could there you go how simple are they to make and how lovely are they? Uh, so Camille says, this is easier than using tiger tail. Might go and make another one. Do it, Camille. It's really straightforward um, and really nice to do. Diane says, I usually do knots like Sarah using the needle. Yeah, you can do. Um, I will cut a little bit and I'll show you. I think what Sarah does. Have I got any? Where's my rat tail gone? So I think when Sarah ties her knot, she will pop a needle or a pin into wherever she needs it and then she can move it up that way. Am I showing you that right? So she just pops a needle or a pin in and then she can bring that knot up to secure it. 
I tend to just use my extra fingers that Sarah also has just to pull it to where I need it to be. So they're, they're how easy they are, really straightforward. Um, let me bring myself up because I'm going to I'm going to do the big reveal. Uh, Lucy says, remember, ladies and gents, that to 12 days of Christmas is limited stock. Once it's gone, it's gone. You've brought me right through to where we need to be. Um, JT says, Natalie, I'm going to show the 12 days of Christmas projects that are on the way. Yes, I am, JT. OK, so as you can see, I'm wearing these gorgeous little earrings. So we have some gorgeous glittery orb earrings for you to make. Um, they remind me of little baubles on the Christmas tree. They're so lovely. Let me just bend down and pick up some goodies. So they come in an array of colours. And they also have gorgeous little connectors. And some beautiful matching coloured miracle beads in the middle as well. And they're really straightforward. Best if I showed you them the right way around, wouldn't they? And they're really straightforward to do. We're just using those little connectors to just add that little bit of sparkle. And as I say, they come in a variety of colours. Look at this blue. I think this blue is my favourite. Um, and they're just glittery and they're just so sweet. This is just one of the projects that are going to be in your kit. Um, I'm not going to show you all the colours. I'm going to I'm going to just let you um, marvel at these ones that also match my nails, and I might be I might be swapping them out a bit later today. Um, so there's I think seven different colours of those, and um, they're very very sweet. Um, the next thing I'd like to show you are these absolutely stunning hair clips. Where am I going to hold it there? I'm going to go down on the map with this one as well. Let me move my sparkles and split rings for you. Okay, so one of the things that we'll be doing that I'll be showing you is this gorgeous hair clip. Can you see it? It's not going to show you it in all its beauty. Right, so this method, really simple wire work method that I'm going to be able to show you. You can adapt if you want to make tiaras with it or hair bands with it. But we thought just popping it on a little hair grip um, just gives you that something a little bit special, a little bit ice queen frozen vibes going on. It is very princessy, Lucy. I knew you would love this. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. So they're really simple to do. Um, it is just going to be little bits of wire, well, one big long length of wire and gorgeous little beads and crystal sparkles look at that so for me this just this is just christmas as i say it's what gives me ice queen vibes um but they'd also look gorgeous in the summer um for weddings or whatever but this technique as i say you'll be able to adapt that if you wanted to do um big tiaras full headbands whatever you like mm -hmm. and i kind of want to show you and I still don't want to want to keep it for me look at these right okay I'll, I'll hold it like this so you can't see them all yeah we're also going to be doing some really gorgeous rose bracelets um easy elasticated bracelets with beautiful beautiful roses and these will also come in a range of colors Lucy, this has you all over it because they're all gorgeous different shades of pink. So you're going to get your pearls. You're going to get all the roses that you could need. Okay, I am going to move that. Look at them. So they're really, really beautiful, really easy to do. A gorgeous, gorgeous looking make. Lucy says, oh my God, pink alert. And this, I mean, as I say, this isn't even all of the things that you're getting. These are just some of the projects in the kit. And I'm not even showing you all the colours. These are my absolute favourite. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Okay, I'm going to take one off. I'm going to show you. So, as I say, this isn't even all the colours. But... There is going to be 
tourmaline, crackle quartz, amethyst, kyanite. Um, this one is pink opal. There's citrine, there's carnelian. There's just so many different colors in this. And I'm going to be showing you how to make these gorgeous, gorgeous bracelet cups. This camera and this angle is just not showing you how stunning these are. These are my absolute favorite. They're really I think easy to do if you want to do wire work but you're like you know a little bit scared you don't need to know how to um crotch it with these you don't uh, crochet I keep saying crotch it you don't need to know how to crochet with these you don't need to know how to um do any fancy weaving techniques and they're going to make these gorgeous little graduated bracelet um cuffs so you're going to get your magnetic clasp. You're going to get the wire in a variety of colours, which is going to match whichever choice you've been selected. So whichever kind of crystals you're getting beautiful gemstones, loads and loads of gemstones. And you're going to get gorgeous little crystals to add that little bit of sparkle in there as well. These have been my absolute favourite. Trying to work out how will I do this? How's it going to look? Um, so we are going to be making these and they're just going to graduate up. You don't have to graduate up if you don't want to. You can just keep it as one kind of size. But I like to have this little graduated part in it. So when you put it on, you've got these beautiful gemstone cuff bracelets. And this is what well, it's my favourite project. It's my favourite project that I've made out of the um, 12 days. But, you know, I'm not even showing you all of the stuff that Kitty's doing in Sarah's project either. These are just a little sneaky peek of some of mine. Um, and I can't, I can't begin to tell you how stunning the colours are and how I just, I love having the crystals in with these natural um gemstones because it's it's kind of the way they're kind of easily woven together gives this kind of free form kind of look um but they just come out so delicate and so pretty um yeah you'll you'll struggle to um well you won't have to choose what color i can't pick a favorite because they're all absolutely gorgeous but that is what i am mainly mostly excited about um D Marriott says, do you get one of each project, one colour? You will get 12 different projects in your kit. Um, you won't get all of the colours in each project. Certain things you will. So correct me if I'm wrong, Kitty, but I'm sure with the E-rings, you're going to get every single colour choice in that as one kit. Um, but with the bracelets and um, certain things, it will go on in terms of availability of what, what stocks there. Um you won't be disappointed. There will be a range of colours in your kit um, for all of your beautiful makes. And I think you're going to be able to make up to say, 40 different items. And that is £70 down from £140. Um, so if you are, you know, looking for something to do over this Christmas period, I'm going to go back onto the website. These are what we've been making today. But what I implore you to do before stocks go, because they are limited availability, get yourself on the website, totallybeads.co.uk, go into the 12 days of Christmas, have a little look at that absolute amazing discount. Um, yeah, you're going to make 40 different items. The discount will automatically, automatically be applied to your basket. So don't worry about that. But you're getting £140 worth of products for £70. You're going to be able to make embroidery brooches the wick off bracelets i've just showed you and um, helm jewelry sparkly earrings um a bling ring the hair comb i've just shown you and um, a flat selini ring memory wire bangles uh, rivoli pendants rose bracelets which i showed you and um, we're doing saint peterberg stitch with tile beads and also a beaded flower with sarah so there is so much in this bundle you will not regret it and i'm sure you're all gonna love it just as much as i do so um bang on 11 o'clock i can't believe i've managed to show you how to make these gorgeous little bracelets and go on and on and on about the 12 days of christmas um 
I talked super fast today. I apologise, I've talked super fast. I've just been so excited. So these bracelets are bargain price today. Maybe seven ninety nine. I can't remember. You're going to be able to make at least three bracelets. You're going to get three buttons in your kits to make at least three of these up. Um, yeah, what more could you want? Um, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you've got any questions, then please feel free to um, send an email over to the Totally Beads team um, or have a little look on the website. Most of the answers um, regarding the 12 days kit will be probably in there for you. I may have skipped over something because I'm just so excited. Um, but thank you so, so much for joining me today. I hope you have a lovely weekend, whatever it is that you're up to. And I will see you next week. I think it's Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. Um, and I'm going to be showing you some really lovely little Christmas. Yeah, I'm going to tell you. E-rings. We're doing E-rings, I think, next Wednesday. Um, they're really lovely. Um, so please join me for that. Um, so lots of love and light to you all. And have a lovely weekend. Take care. Bye.